Hi there, welcome to Wells Chili, the channel where you can follow our journey setting up a hot sauce company. In this episode, we'll show you how to save seeds for next year. We'll show you when and how to save hot pepper seeds. Right, let's get to it. So saving pepper seeds to plant next season is pretty straightforward if you just get um, a few things right. So the first thing to get right is to isolate your peppers. So what this means is um, you need to make sure that no other pollen from nearby uh, pepper varieties uh, go and pollinate your pepper. So basically peppers are self-pollinators and um, they've got the ovaries and the pollen that uh, pollinates the ovaries all in one little flower. So if you've got one or two different variety, uh, what can happen is the pollen from one variety will pollinate the pepper in another variety, and then the seeds you derive from that is a mixture of the two. So um, you don't want that if you want to keep the same pepper uh, in the seeds. So this is called uh, cross-pollination, and I'll be doing a video about that soon. But um, yeah, it's very bad if you want to keep the same variety. So um, to combat this, uh, what you can do is pop a little bag or uh, a bit of netting bag over the flower itself, or you can actually put a mosquito net over the whole plant. And then uh, this will ensure that no pollen from another plant will be able to pollinate your flowers. So the second thing you want to ensure that you get right is uh, make sure that the pepper is fully ripe. So let's take a bell pepper for instance. A bell pepper should ripen to red, um, even though it goes yellow, uh, orange and then red. Um, if you take for instance a yellow pepper or an orange pepper, then um, that is uh, an unripe pepper. So the seeds haven't fully formed in it. So you need to wait for your pepper to uh, fully grow and fully um, form before you uh, take the seeds from it. Um, even though um, some peppers uh, do fully ripen to purple or chocolate um, and like the um, Reaper X that I've got upstairs, um, that ripens to yellow. So um, as long as it's fully ripened and um, it's, uh, it's true ripe colour, then um, you can pull off the pepper and uh, save your seeds from that. Now, the third thing you want to make sure that you get right is that the seed is fully dry. So there's a couple of ways to dry your pepper seeds. Um, you can pop them onto a plate with a piece of kitchen towel and then either leave them outside or to speed up the process a little bit, uh, you can pop it into an airing cupboard. Um, this will take probably between three and five days to, so they're fully dry and uh, you can test that they're fully dry by just uh, giving the seed a little bit of a squeeze and it should crack. Now, um, me myself, I prefer to use my dehydrator because uh, I don't have to pull the seeds out until the peppers are fully dry. So uh, all I do is I cut my pepper in half and then um, I put the pepper halves on different shelves in my dehydrator and then uh, I pop that on a low temperature and dry them out that way. Now as well as saving seeds for next season, I will be packaging some in a limited edition seed box uh, for my seed starting patrons of 2020. As well as the great little limited edition seed box and a selection of seeds, they will receive a few other handy things to use when seed starting. If you would like to receive a box like this at the end of the 2021 season, then you can subscribe to my Patreon account at patreon.com forward slash Welsh Chili. It would really support the channel if you did. So by using my dehydrator, um, after I pull the seeds out, I can use 
the peppers themselves to create pepper powder. If you'd like to see another video about creating your hot pepper powder, then I'll pop a link right up there now. Now, after you've dried out your pepper seeds, um, what you can do to get rid of the last bit of moisture is pop them into an airtight container with a little uh, silica gel pack. So uh, just pop it in with your seeds, seal it up, and then um, they should uh, dry out nicely. Um, you must make sure that they're totally dry or your seeds will rot. The last thing to remember when you're drying your pepper seeds is not to expose them to uh, too high a heat. So um, if you're drying them out in a dehydrator like me, then you need to make sure that the temperature is less than 96 degrees Fahrenheit or 36 degrees Celsius as a uh, temperature any warmer than this will uh, damage the embryo and damage the seed itself. So when you followed all the other instructions and your seeds are fully dry, uh, it comes to the time to store your seeds. Now um, there's a few ways to store your seeds, but um, all you can do to uh, begin with is pop them into the freezer for a couple of days. Uh, what this does is it kills any insects or insect, insect eggs that um, may have been on your pepper seeds. Um, and then after that, you can either choose to leave them in the freezer. They'll quite happily live there until you're ready to use them. Or you can pull them out and leave them at room temperature or even keep them in the fridge. So uh, what I like to do is uh, leave them at room temperature. Then about two or three days before I'm ready to plant them, I'll pop them in the fridge to uh, trick them into thinking it's cold weather. So uh, when I pull them back out the fridge to room temperature, um, they think it's uh, it's summer again and it's uh, time to germinate. So they tend to germinate a, a little bit better. So that's it for this video. Um, I'd like to thank my Patreons. Um, your seed boxes are on their way. Um, and remember, if you'd like a 2021 um, seed box, then um, head over to patreon.com forward slash Welsh Chili and uh, subscribe to the Seed Starting subscription there. Um, that's it for now. We'll see you on the next one. But remember, if you're going to go hot, go super hot.